Hi guys, I'm Sherry. I know it has been a while since I uploaded my last video. It's about a month plus ago. So today is actually a get ready with me. So I will use some of the products that I recently purchased and then to also share with you my reviews if those are products that I have tried before. Some are actually my first impression because I haven't even used them yet. So let's quickly move on. So as usual, I have already applied my sunblock and my skincare products. So now we can move on to foundation. And today the foundation that I'll be using is my recent purchase, which is the Shu Uemura Unlimited Foundation. This is a new product that uh, came into Singapore like a few months ago. The main features of this product is long-lasting, breathable and is semi-matte finish which can minimize your pores uh, appearance and also have a certain level of coverage which is what I like. I have already used this before and today I'll be using this again because as you know that I'm pregnant now but then Singapore the weather is too hot for me and I will sweat a lot so I need something that is more long lasting and kind of like sweat resistance so I tried this out and I actually quite like the effect of this foundation so today I want to share with you how it looks like on my face for this product so usually I will use about a pound The colour that I use is 674 Light Shell. Today I want to have a more lightweighted uh, foundation look. So I decided to use this brush instead. Let me zoom in to show you. This foundation is very watery, lightweighted. And mainly it is very breathable. It will not be heavy on your skin. And it will be very comfortable for long wearing. So I will just use this brush and then just blend it nicely. Color that I'm using right now, uh, it totally blends into my skin color. So it is very easy to use. I just need to blend it with this brush and half the face is done. As you can see, if I compare um, the side where I haven't applied the foundation and the one that I apply with a thin layer, as you can see there is redness on my cheek and now after applying a thin layer, the redness is gone. Then my dark circles as well, it helps to cover a little. To me, if it's a daily wear that you don't need to have a very perfect makeup, just this thin layer of foundation on it with the coverage it has already good enough to go out like this. Unless you need a better coverage that you need to apply concealers on certain areas. Then for pore minimizing, I'm not sure if you can see from the screen. I have large pores here and on the nose but then now it's slightly concealed. I wouldn't say 100% or very high pore minimizing effect but uh, about 50% or more is already concealed which I'm very satisfied with how the pore minimizing effect it is now. Alright, so now let's continue with the other half.
for areas that I need better coverage, I will just use the leftover foundation and then just lightly dab it using my finger. And for those who are looking for breathable, lightweight and medium coverage and then semi-matte finish of the foundation, you can try this. I strongly recommend this because it works for me even for combination to oily skin if you are looking for something lightweight and not oily and not heavy for your skin you can try this next I will have to apply some concealer I will be using this the Addiction Concealer Palette this is how the palette looks like it has different shades of the concealer tone and is the creamy type so I will actually use this to conceal my dark circles better so what I do is I usually use this darker shade and I will just use my finger to dab around my dark circle area from the lowest point to better conceal it. I will not start at the highest point which is closer to my eyes. I will start at the bottom part so that the shade will be concealed. And then I will use this pinky shade to lay over to brighten my skin. I actually bought this in Japan. Because Singapore doesn't carry this brand and I heard a lot of good reviews of this from a concealer palette so I decided to give it a try since Japan has it and after trying it I think for concealer and um, the creamy concealer type for the palette and the color shades that, pro that it provided I think it's a pretty good uh, concealer because you can use it to conceal different type of flaws like for me my emphasis is always on the dark circles so I depend on this a lot to balance out my dark circles so that it looks natural and it actually do a very good job for that and the good thing about it is as you see with a closer look it is not dry to the skin and it's not too oily either so when you put it near your eyelids with a lot of wrinkles around it doesn't emphasize the lines and with the various shape that this palette has you can also conceal like um, acne scars, pimples just by mixing them up which can give you a better concealer shape I will be using this, this cute little thing from Can Make. It's a face powder 01. It's a translucent compact powder. This will make your makeup a little more matte finish if you magnify it. But I'm fine with it. So what I do is I will just apply that and then emphasize on fix my makeup and especially the oily zone the t-zone area and near to your eyebrow and my nose area next I will start doing my brow I bought a new color but this is not a new product this is from Excel Made the 3-in-1 eyebrow pencil Due to pregnancy, I didn't dye my hair. That's why, as you can see, I have a lot of grey hair around. So, I'm trying my best to ignore them. So, in order to uh, suit my hair colour, because my black hair comes out already, so I use more like an ash grey colour to blend well with my current hair colour. been 
saying this so many times that how much I love about this Excel 3-in-1 pencil. So easy to blend and even for newbies who doesn't really know how to draw their eyebrows, this is a very good product to begin with. Even my mom who doesn't really know how to draw eyebrow can use this very well. So I think those who are interested and wanted to try how to draw your eyebrow, you can start with using this product. In my recent Instagram post, I shared with you guys that I bought some items from Sephora during their Sephora sale. So I bought this. This is the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I haven't tried this before, so today is my first time using this. So I will share with you guys again in my description below for this video to see if this is a good product to use. So since it's tinted, you don't have to apply any foundation on your lids. As you can see just now when I apply my foundation, I avoided my eyelid area. So now I will be applying this. I love the tinted shade. It blends well and covers my brownish orangey eyelid. Not sure about its effect for long lasting on my eye makeup later. So let me try and then share with you guys my review. This is not a new product, so I will not uh, talk about it. I have been using this for shading for quite a bit. And this is something that I will keep using it. It's very natural. So for beginners who are learning how to do contouring, this is actually quite a good product. Or those who doesn't like very strong shading, you can try this. I will use a bit on my nose bridge. I will be using this. This is also not a new product, I have shared this before. The Colourpop uh, eyeshadow palette. I will use, straight away use a darker shade. that this is pretty long lasting and smudge proof and look at how fine this pen is the fineness of this liquid pencil this liquid eyeliner it really helps to define your eyeliner very nicely I bought this curler from Shiseido so I will try out to see how this curling effect is like I 
find it quite amazing so I have to show you zoom in I haven't uh, curled it for this side I curled it for this side and then to let you show you the difference you see for my lashes it just curled up nicely this side I haven't curled this side already curled the difference is actually quite great then definitely now we'll do this I'll try this out this is one of my new purchase also I got my friend to buy it for me in Japan the micro mascara from Heroin Make Kiss Me I bought two colors and today I will be trying this black I haven't even removed it from the packaging so today is my first time trying this out most of you may know that Heroin Make Kiss Me um, mascara is very good mm, it really does like what they say for most of the Heroin Make um, Kiss Me mascara smudge proof, waterproof, easy to remove and then for the price and the cost of it it's really very worth it so I'm going to try this since it's a very new product in Japan it's the advanced film series and I bought two colors but today I'll be trying the black color for my micro mascara this is how fine the brush of the mascara is like If you like natural lashes, you may be alright with it because it doesn't give you any uh, volume or lengthening to your lash. It's just a very very natural look. Because of the micro brush, doesn't smudge easily when you even apply for the lower lashes. I sweat so much that I have to go and get my <laughs> mini fan. So now let's continue to do the other side. Oh and another thing that I want to mention about this because maybe the brush is very thin, the liquid that it gets from the container is not a lot and hence you have to go back in a few times in order to get the effect of the mascara. want to consider before getting this so blusher I will be trying this out this is also my recent purchase in Sephora member sale the Clinic blush palette the colors is so usable and it's not like any weird colors and everyone knows that Clinic's cheek pop is very natural look so you won't go wrong with their blusher maybe I'll try this for my middle cheek the colour in this palette are Sobe, Sobe pop, Melon pop and Pearl pop so I start with Sobe first so orangey is very hard to use it gives you a little tint of peach color orangey but it's very nude and very nice then I will top up with Madame Pop the color is so light and easy to layer on for cheap pop so I will just use all the colors today Then I'll also use a little bit of pearl pop The upper cheek area So these three you can actually use it together at different 
different area of the chain. Mm. I love how the glossy, glowy, pearly look on my face. So those who beginners or those who like very um, easy to blend blusher, you may try this. Okay, then I will just top up with my lipstick and I'll complete today's makeup. So again, I'll be using my Lip Mastro since the colour of my eyes and the cheek glow is there already. So this is my today's makeup look. It's a very simple makeup look because today I'm going out. Mm, actually, I'm going for the Jewel Changi uh, preview. So I'm pretty excited to see what are the stores there. And I heard that there are many exclusive mm, new stores, especially for the food and beverage like Shake Shack. A and W is back, and then there are many other different F and B also and different stores. But not sure what what are the stores that are currently open already. So I have to go and take a look. So thought today I'm going for something different, and I just want to do my makeup and share with you guys how it's like, and also share the recent purchases and the new products that I've used recently. So. Hope you guys enjoy today's video because I do enjoy myself sharing new products with you guys and my reviews about it. So hope this get ready with me is an enjoyable one to you too. If I could actually video or show you guys around Jewel later, I will actually do some snapshot or a short clip to show you guys how it's like inside. So alright, as of now, that's all for today. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.